the sky that would soon be filled with clouds of smoke and prayers of a na nation shaken to its core. Lourdes J. Hancoletti F. Bronze, e. Dennis, Mike, Kono, Cook. E. Gallo. They've not forgotten the, uh, the heroism of your husbands, wives, sons, daughters, mothers, fathers. And what they did for this country is still etched in the minds of not only you, but millions of Americans. And tonight, you are looking live at Ground Zero, a site that's gone from towering buildings to a pile of rubble to a symbol of our nation's resolve in the face of tragedy. It was 11 years ago today. Our world changed forever. Of course, you remember where you were, yeah. when it happened, what you were doing when you first heard the news of the attacks on New York and Washington and the plane crash in Pennsylvania. Fox News correspondent Rick Leventhal was at Ground Zero then and has much more in tonight's big story. For the 11th time since the worst terror attacks on American soil, somber ceremonies honored the lives lost and heroic sacrifices made. Although he threw himself from the building, I know that God was waiting for him below and caught him in his arms. At the National 9-11 Memorial in New York, family members read the names of the nearly 3,000 victims. And our son, Glenn Davis Kerwin. A bell tolled six times, marking the moments hijacked planes crashed into both World Trade Center towers, the Pentagon, and a field in Pennsylvania, and when the Twin Towers fell. No matter how many anniversaries you experience, for at least an instant, the terror of that moment returns. While the vice president marked the occasion in Shanksville, the president took part in solemn ceremonies at the White House, Arlington Cemetery, and the Pentagon. This is never an easy day, but it is especially difficult for all of you. The families of nearly 3,000 innocents who lost their lives. This year, for the first time, elected officials did not speak during the ceremony at the Ground Zero Memorial. Instead, the event alongside the footprints of the Twin Towers was dedicated solely to victims' families and first responders. The bond that God created in mom's womb can never be destroyed by hatred and death. There's a void in all our lives because of this that will never, ever be filled or healed. I hope we never lose focus on what really happened here. And more importantly, may we never forget nor forgive those responsible. The ceremonies are now over, but the remembrances continue tonight with a tribute in light. Two massive beams pointed into the sky from lower Manhattan from sundown until dawn in memory of the towers that once stood here and the thousands of lives lost forever. In New York, Rick Leventhal, Fox News. Flags across the country lowered today in honor of those lives lost 11 years ago. And that included, of course, those in Boise, the flags at the Capitol building, lowered to half staff to mark the somber occasion. At the Idaho Fallen Soldiers Memorial, seven service members were honored. The families of those who gave their lives in the fight for our freedom came from all corners of the state. They came to remember, pay tribute, and honor their loved ones. One Marine and six soldiers paid the ultimate price. I'm devastated I lost my son. Part of my heart is gone, but ceremonies like this bring it out that these kids didn't die in vain. This was the third annual memorial service for Idahoans who died in the combat zone. And now an update for you on a story we brought you nearly a year ago today. We wanted to touch base with a Boise company that provided a very unique yet crucial piece for the memorial at Ground Zero. Matt King continues our team coverage. Yeah, Michelle, Baseline Irrigation employs 18 people. It described the memorial project as small, interesting, and fun. Its president toured Ground Zero this spring to see his handiwork. A group of Boise conservationists spent the better part of a decade tinkering, welding, designing, and testing a system to monitor the soil moisture here. Ground Zero in Manhattan. There, 400 young trees dot 16 of the most important acres in America. The figurative thermostat for that garden traces its roots to John Fortemout's company in Boise. I think it's turned out very well, and I happened to be there in April, and so the trees were first just coming out. Seeing new life spring from that, that location, I think, really affected me personally when I walked on. 
Like the moon landing or the Kennedy assassination, 9-11 joins that intimate group of moments in the American consciousness that because of the radio, TV, internet era, demand the where were you then question. John had recently moved to Utah from Manhattan, and like so many others, spent much of that day 11 years ago trying to contact loved ones. Baseline normally takes projects spread over hundreds of acres requiring hundreds of controllers. The system it installed for the memorial used only two making it a minor gig both physically and financially. Very large to us because it was so important. So I've never worked on a project or been on a project uh, where more attention to detail was taken. And while the moving water, standing steel, and stagnant stone engraved with so many names do and should command the heart's esteem and eye's attention, in its own smaller way, a bit of technology from Idaho joins in that aesthetic harmony growing in its value as those trees mature and their extending boughs form this cathedral ceiling. Baseline said since the memorial project, it's moved locations and added a score of different top-tier clients from all over the world. Live in the studio, Matt King, Fox 9 on your side. In other news tonight, a former FBI fraud investigator is the latest to take over the investigation into the Dynamis Waste to Energy deal. Verna Kessler spent 20 years with the FBI before retiring, and more recently she spent 2010 working as an investigator with the Boise City Ombudsman's Office. Ada County Sheriff Gary Rainey and Ada County Prosecutor Greg Bauer chose Kessler for the job. The very commissioners facing investigation recently gave Rainey and Bauer raises, making them two of the three highest paid employees in the county. Meanwhile, the city of Meridian wants Ada County to slow down its whole deal with Dynamis. They're worried that the plant emissions could be harmful to your health and say the city hasn't been kept in the loop. That's right. So Meridian may use its trash of all things as leverage. Question is, will it result in higher costs for you to take out the garbage? It's no surprise trash is big business in Ada County. The multi-million dollar Dynamis deal is one indication of that. But the city of Meridian says it reserves the right to take its trash elsewhere if the county doesn't include them in the process. When you don't follow the process, then the city just has to look at, again, what's the best interest of the taxpayers and what do, can they look out for the costs and the impact to our citizens. Which means take your garbage somewhere else. Uh, potentially. The city says the county never did a feasibility study on the Dynamis project, and it sent them this note stating that the county is proceeding at great peril and risk to all county residents. And bottom line, Meridian felt left out. There's just never been the dialogue on the city's role or the city's buy-in or participation in what they're doing. The county says Meridian and CUNA combined to provide 14% of the trash sent to the landfill. If Meridian sends its trash elsewhere, we asked Neri if costs would go up. He said unequivocally no. The city would only make the move if it was cheaper. Now, Neri tells us the city has been working on the draft of the letter that it sent for months. Wow. They've been thinking about this for quite some sure. time. And as of today, Meridian says the Ada County Commissioners have not responded to their concerns. And you will follow up. And we will. Thanks, Roland. Several marijuana grow operations in Oregon and Idaho get an unwelcome surprise today. Federal agents and local police raided 11 facilities suspected of selling marijuana for profit. The search warrants came after a months-long investigation using undercover officers. They suspect some legal medical marijuana dispensaries of money laundering and selling drugs illegally. Police and the DEA will not release the names of suspects or locations of the search warrants, but they did say one Meridian location and two Napa locations were also raided today, suspected of being part of this ring. The sale, possession for sale, and manufacture of marijuana for sale is a clear violation of the Oregon Medical Marijuana Act, and it's our obligation as law enforcement officers in this state and Idaho to ensure that both the letter and the spirit of the law is complied with. The problem of marijuana coming over the border may soon become even more complicated. That's because in November, Oregonians will vote on Measure 80. It's a ballot initiative to legalize recreational marijuana and regulate it just like alcohol. Well, we have an update for you tonight on the story we first brought you this spring. You may remember a string of bike thefts before the Exergy Tour. Well, police arrested a man they say was behind the theft of 13 Exergy racing bikes, but he was also accused of stealing dozens more. And today, Boise officers reunited the first of those bikes with its owner, and she was thrilled to get her wheels back. It was a great feeling, and... Um I didn't expect it because I, you know, had heard a lot of bikes had been stolen and the whole extra G thing with the women getting their bikes stolen. 
Now, Michael Lawrence pleaded guilty to grand theft when it came to the stolen Exergy bikes. All told, investigators say they've recovered nearly $150,000 worth of stolen bicycles. Well, in this economy, it seems like we're all looking for cheaper cars, clothing, and in some cases, even cheaper places to live. And going to the web, well, it can be a great online resource. But Jennifer Ah is on your side tonight with a warning. Buyers beware of rental ripoffs. Michelle Roland, that's right. Losing a few bucks online may leave a bad taste in your mouth, but losing thousands of dollars can really be devastating. And one of our producers was actually almost sucked into renting a house at a hugely undermarket rate. Too good to be true? You know what? It sure was. Our associate producer, Whitney Bessendorfer, says she thought she found a gem when she first saw this house listed online. The link basically on Craigslist just said a Meridian home, three bedrooms, two car garage for $500 a month. She quickly emailed the listed owner and he told her he's a Christian missionary working in Africa. But Whitney says something just didn't feel right. The more information that was let out just got more sketchy and sketchy and sketchy as we went on. When I get that back, I send you my confirmation. He told her since he's in Africa, she would first need to wire him the deposit money and then he will send her the keys to the house. We went to the address posted on the listing, but it turns out the place was already on rent through Chapman Properties. And the owner wasn't a missionary and wasn't in Africa. In fact, the owner lives in California, and she told us she had no idea her home was used in a rental scam. When I called Chapman Properties, a realtor answered, and she told me they've experienced things like this before, where a scammer would actually copy and paste their information online and post it on Craigslist, pretending they're the ones running out these kind of properties. While these schemes seem obvious, the schemers target people going through tough times and try to relate with tough time stories of their own. She just comes up with a great emotional story that they're in the military or that they are a missionary out in the field and they have this house that all of a sudden is vacant, they need to get it filled. The Better Business Bureau gets calls almost every week from people who fork over large amounts of cash in these schemes. So how much money do they usually send over? It's hundreds, thousands? We just heard a case from somebody in Idaho who was moving to Salt Lake, wired money, and it was about $1,000 that was wired in total. Wow, and is there any way that they're able to get their money back, or is it gone? It is gone. You might as well drive down the interstate and throw it out $100 bill at a time, uh, and you won't get it back. Now, websites like Craigslist can still be a great tool in finding rental properties, but here are some safety tips. Now, don't just jump into a great deal if it seems too good to be true, because it probably is. And always meet directly with the person you're renting from and never wire your money. Pay them directly after seeing the place and signing a contract. Also, if you find a ripoff online, report it to the website so they can work to shut it down. Live in the studio, I'm Jennifer All Fox 9 on your side. Hmm. Good information. Yeah, amazing. Someone can take over a property like that, at least in cyberspace. Now, we get emails from viewers every day asking us to investigate issues just like that one. And to help reach out to more of you, we have developed a whole new segment here on Fox 9 On Your Side. Don Nelson takes a look at tonight's On Your Side Inbox. Tonight, we're on your side getting you answers. A lot of people in the Valley are excited about the NHL coming to Boise. Or are they? The Dallas Stars and the Minnesota Wild are scheduled to play an exhibition game September 25th at CenturyLink Arena. The Stars have been the Idaho Steelheads NHL affiliate since 2005. But as crews prepare the ice in Boise, an NHL lockout looms back east that would affect the entire league's operation. The NHL's labor contract expires at midnight Saturday night, and a lockout appears to be certain. So. How does that affect you if you are one of the thousands that have already purchased tickets for that game? I spoke with Will Henneke from the Steelies, and Will told me that they, like all affiliates, are closely monitoring the negotiations and will honor all ticket holders with full reimbursement if the lockout continues. Bottom line, no one will lose their money. We want to hear from you. Are you looking for answers but just can't seem to get them? Is there an issue you need our help looking into? You can call into our On Your Side inbox at 381-6666. Easy number to remember. Or head over to the IdahoOnYourSide.com and send us an email. Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval.
Hope you enjoy the nice cool weather on the Treasure Valley today. Temperatures definitely have been dropping only into the 70s today. And look at this. It's 62 degrees outside right now. A clear sky, a cool night, and chilly weather coming in overnight. Keep in mind, there could even be a little bit of frost in those normally very cold locations. And you know who you are, folks. And so it's one of those you just want to watch it closely. Not forecasting frost, but in some places it is not out of the question. High today was 72. Boy, nice and comfortable out there. Tomorrow getting a little bit closer to average, which is at 81, the record at 97. We've had one one hundredth of an inch of precipitation that came on the Saturday night, Sunday morning. But the sunset at 8.02, the nights are getting a lot longer. Boy, that allows the cool weather to settle on in. Look at those comfortable temperatures. 60s today in the mountains, 70s in the valley. Tomorrow, it will be colder in the morning with temperatures in the upper 30s in many valley locations. But during the afternoon, it will get warmer. It will be very pleasant. Lots of sunshine around. Temperature 79 degrees. This is whether everybody enjoys but I want you to notice there we have flash flooding in Vegas. I'm going to talk about that coming Ooh. up on a special mm. weather segment. Very just amazing pictures of what happened in Vegas, a dry area. They got a almost I would say a quarter or maybe more than their entire annual rainfall fell during the day today. So I'm going to talk about that That's choice. Of rain. That's dangerous. Yes, it Thanks. is. Thanks, God. You bet. Coming up next on Fox 9 On Your Side, we take a look at the day on the campaign trail where both sides honored the somber occasion of September 11th by taking a break from divisive political rhetoric. And still ahead, as the nation struggles to get its unemployment rate under control, there are some parts of the country that can't find enough people to fill the empty jobs. Roland Ferris, Michelle Edmonds, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval, Sports with Paul Gerke. This is Fox 9 on your side at 9. Weather is brought to you by Steve's Hometown Toyota. Try Steve's Hometown Toyota in Ontario. So is it a boy or a girl? Both. Twins! Twins. Nope. Quadruplets. See you next week. Coming off of a national championship. I bet you are a big star in Iowa. I'm actually, I'm, I'm from Ohio. Ohio, even worse. It's time to get ruthless in protecting the integrity of your idiot club. That's a great haircut, Mercedes. I thought you graduated. The Glee season premiere this Thursday after the X Factor on Fox. And these sonic flat mounts are really bringing me and my taste buds closer together. Oh, that's nice. You guys are close. It's like we're not even taste buds. We're taste bros. Oh, okay. It's like we all went through some real cool nature experience together, but things didn't get weird. Is the point of this that I'm not in on it? You make your own relationships. You seek out your own peer group, man. I found mine. A barbecue feast in the palm of your hand. New Hickory Flat Melt Sandwiches. Grab one with a real ice cream shake. Just half price after 8 p.m. This is how you sonic. Fox 9 on your side at 9. The presidential campaign took a break from the heated rhetoric in honor of today's anniversary. The Republican ticket emphasized patriotism and service instead of more political themes. Fox News correspondent Carl Cameron has the latest right now in America. In Reno, addressing 4,000 members of the National Guard Association Convention, GOP presidential nominee Mitt Romney commemorated the 9-11 attacks. With less than two months to go before Election Day, I would normally speak to a gathering like this about the uh, differences between my and my opponent's plans for military and for our national security. There is a time and place for that, but this day is not that. Running mate Paul Ryan visited with the Wisconsin Air National Guard. This is the day we should be thinking about the people who gave their lives, and it's the day where we are really thankful for those of you who dedicate their lives to keeping us safe, to making our military our Air Force, the online investment in the world.
2008 GOP nominee and Vietnam War hero John McCain urged Romney to go on offense against Mr. Obama for emphasizing withdrawal instead of victory in Afghanistan, which McCain says emboldens extremists. This president's national security policy has been an abysmal, abysmal failure. I have not seen a more feckless foreign policy since President Carter. Romney has vigorously attacked the president for weeks for refusing to halt massive automatic defense cuts as part of a bipartisan deal to cut the deficit slated for next year. The return of our troops cannot and must not be used as an excuse to hollow out our military through devastating defense budget cuts. Dousing talk of an Obama convention bounce today, a new Washington Post-ABC News poll of likely voters says it's still an unchanged and virtually tied race, Obama 49, Romney 48. The real clear politics average shows the president up 3.6 points. But the president's job rating remains narrowly negative. 50% disapprove to 48% to approve in the Washington Post poll. Since May, a staggering half a billion dollars in ads have been run by the campaigns, parties, and special interests in the top battleground states. Florida's faced $117 million in ads. Ohio's second with $112 million. Virginia, $85.7 million. North Carolina and Colorado, about $55 million each. Iowa, $47 million. In the last four months, an average of $4 million a day has been spent in 13 key battleground states. In the final eight weeks, those numbers are expected to more than double. In Flagler Beach, Florida, Carl Cameron, Fox News. So 11 years later, Al-Qaeda has been decimated by the war on terror, but still remains a threat. And today, lawmakers took time to not only mark the anniversary of the attacks, but to see enough if enough is being done to prevent another. The mission that took out terror mastermind Osama bin Laden has been well documented. But we just learned this week that Al-Qaeda's second in command was taken out by a drone attack in June. Today, lawmakers stressed one of the most important ways of preventing a similar attack. Curtailing the ability of terrorists to travel to the U.S. can be one of the most effective counterterrorism tools because denying terrorists the freedom to travel essentially eliminates their ability to plan or to exercise or to carry out attacks on our homeland. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta also acknowledged Al-Qaeda has been hurt, but threats remain, and promised to track down those threats wherever they may be. Coming up next on Fox 9, we are headed to the Weather Center. Scott Dorval is working on his complete On Your Side forecast. And still ahead tonight, are we looking for jobs in all the wrong places? The nation may be having problems finding work, but if you look closely, some parts are doing much better than others. And now tonight's Pump Patrol, head to the Maverick at Cherry Lane in Linder to fill up for $3.75 a gallon. And to find the cheapest gas in your neighborhood, go to IdahoOnYourSide.com and click on the Features tab. Pump Patrol, brought to you by Mountain Home Auto Ranch, where we do business a better way. Exit 95, Mountain Home. It's truck month at Mountain Home Auto Ranch, and the savings are better than ever on new Ram trucks. From heavy-duty Cummins to Ram 1500s, your new truck is waiting for you at Mountain Home Auto Ranch. What's going on? The free On Your Side News app will tell you wherever you go. With news, sports, and streaming video. Free from Today 6 and Fox 9. Search Idaho On Your Side in your app store. Thanks to everyone who's ever played the Idaho Lottery. Idaho's public schools and the Permanent Building Fund have received over half a billion dollars. Pass it on. If you never buy a Toyota, you'll never hear this. On top of that, it comes with Toyota Care at no extra cost. They even take care of routine maintenance. Throw in Toyota Care no charge maintenance and it's completely hassle free. And routine maintenance is paid for. And the first two years of service is covered. They even throw in Toyota Care at no extra cost. Toyota Care, complimentary maintenance and roadside assistance on every new model at your Northwest Toyota dealer. See your Treasure Valley Toyota dealer now. If you're ready for a restful night, come check out the comfy, cozy mattresses at R.C. Willie. Put an end to your sleepless nights and rest easy on a new mattress. We carry America's top mattress brands, including Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest, Serta, Spring Air, and Heirloom. Mattresses are priced as low as $79 twin size and $99 queen size. Save up to $500 on name brand mattresses that are in stock now for immediate delivery, plus free removal of your old mattress. R.C. Willie, your home, your way. 
any way you look at it, fresh, fresh, and fresh always beats late, cold, and greasy. At Papa Murphy's, every pizza is made fresh to order, and you don't have to worry about stuff like delivery fees or tips. You just get a great pizza hot from your oven, which means lower prices, never lower standards. Now try the Combo Magnifico for just nine bucks. Made with a zesty red sauce, huge pepperoni, sausage, onions, and mushrooms on a crust that's not too thick and not too thin. All for just nine bucks. Papa Murphy's, join the take and bake revolution. Valley Office Systems. Now you have a choice, make the right choice. Valley Office Systems. Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, if you like the cooler autumn-like temperatures, we're certainly seeing it today. I said we'd hit 75 degrees below average. Look at this, 72 in my three-degree guarantee. Just making it within that range, but boy, it was comfortable outside. And a nice breeze blowing out there as well, though it is uh, blowing around the pollen out there. I'll look at that coming up uh, in a moment here. 72 at Boise, 74 Twins, 72 in Pocatello. Cool all across the Northwest, only in the 60s in Moscow and Spokane, Missoula. 66, same thing in Great Falls. It was Still 90 in Denver today, and it was 94 in Sacramento. So warm weather to the south, and that warmer weather is going to start to head in our direction. So keep in mind that uh, the uh, warmer temperatures are definitely headed in our way, our way for at least the next several days before it starts to cool back down a little bit towards next week. Again, the weekend looks like it should, not, should turn out to be uh, quite nice. So dry and warmer conditions for the day tomorrow. Here's the jet stream. It's been to basically coming right across us with the breezes today. All of it is sliding to the east now, and that's a bubble of warmth that's beginning to move on in so that cool weather that we've been experiencing is sliding off to the east and will continue to track in that direction. Satellite picture shows a lot of cloud covered track on off to the northeast. We had some over the Magic Valley earlier today, but that is cleared. This is clear skies, so I think we get a lot of sunshine coming in for the next several days again. I'm going to watch Friday evening and about 5 a.m. Saturday morning. A few clouds may drift by. That should be about it. A lot of cloud cover staying to the south. Vegas has had a tremendous amount of rain. I'm going to show you some of the video here. They they are drying out now with flash flooding occurring in Vegas during the day today. But later this week, that jet stream will continue to surge to the north, and our temperatures are going to go above 90 again after hitting 72 today on Friday. I think we're going to top 90 degrees as the cooler weather slides a little bit more towards the east, but not a lot of real, real chilly weather across the nation. Most places are going to stay above average. So here is my on your side forecast for the Treasure Valley. A lot of sunshine tomorrow, a nice day, but as I mentioned earlier, there's a chance for some frost coming in. This is going to be early in the morning, of course, 37 degrees in Caldwell, 39 in Meridian. The airport in Boise will be in the low 40s, but most places will be 35 to 40. And if you get down towards 36 degrees, you have a chance for frost. So there might be some isolated pockets, so don't be surprised tomorrow morning if that is the case. We're still under very light northwest winds tomorrow. When they shift to the southeast, the frost threat goes away. And that'll be the next couple days, and the warmer temperatures move in. But a lot of sunshine tomorrow. Enjoy the nice weather coming in. West Central Mountains tomorrow, 29 in McCall, 20 27 in Garden Valley, 24 in Cascade, so well down into the 20s, getting up into the low to mid 70s. We'll get to near 80 in Idaho City, Garden Valley, 81 in Council tomorrow. So a cold start, a lot of sunshine. There'll be some of those areas of smoke, but it will be a milder and pretty pleasant afternoon coming in. Some of that nicer weather definitely uh, in the West Central Mountains. East Central Mountains tomorrow, look at these temperatures. Stanley and Fairfield tomorrow at 18 degrees to start the day. By afternoon, getting up to 70 to 74, so a cold start but lots of sunshine later in the day. Stanley's had a lot of sunshine, and I haven't seen a lot of smoke showing up on the web camera, which is good news. My underside forecast for the Magic Valley, 67 in Gooding. Watch out for frost in the morning. 74 in Twin in the afternoon. Nice day, pleasant, just a light breeze out of the west. My underside extended forecast. Winds during the morning on Thursday and Friday. There'll be a bit of a breeze, so it'll be a cool morning, but a much warmer finish, a hotter finish on Friday. 80 to 87 over the weekend. Some nice weather coming in. Bronco cast for Saturday. Day. How about 84 degrees as the game progresses? Then, even when you go out to the tailgates at noon on Saturday, 75 degrees to near 80 by kickoff. Wow, that's nice. September games in the afternoon are really, really nice. So, Bronco mm. Stadium will be hopping on Saturday. Yeah, it will. Tailgating, yeah, sure opener. Is cold out. A little chilly early, <laughs> but it gets better on. Yeah, Thanks, God. Thanks, God. So, a major part of the nation's economic woes, of course, unemployment. Yeah, but believe it or not, there are places where jobs just can't be filled fast enough. And Fox News correspondent John Roberts tells us where. 
I knew I had to make a move because there was no jobs, there was a high crime rate. Abraham Kirk was a union welder at Chrysler in Illinois. He took a buyout during the 2009 downsizing, but couldn't find another job. He was desperate for work, selling possessions for cash, until he picked up and headed west to South Dakota. There's jobs everywhere. You know, you go down the street and everybody's hiring. McDonald's hiring for almost $11 an hour. In fact, South Dakota has a ton of jobs employers can't fill, 11,000 of them. At Trail King, where Abraham Kirk works, CEO Bruce Yakely has hired a recruiting firm to find welders. Anybody that's got skills, uh, if they want a job, they can get a job tomorrow. The labor shortage here is so acute that Governor Dennis Dugard is paying manpower $5 million to find 1,000 new workers. County or financial uh, services, uh, engineering, uh, information technology, and in the skilled manufacturing trades, primarily machining and um, high-skilled welding. And it's not just South Dakota. Today's JOLT survey on job openings and labor turnover found at the end of July, there were 3.7 million jobs available across the country. You hear about the 8% plus unemployment rate, and we can't find enough people to fill the jobs. So why are the jobs unfilled? Some of it is geography. People don't want to move to wide open spaces like the Dakotas, where business is booming. Then there's the skills gap. That's the problem at Poet Biofuels in Sioux Falls. They can't find engineers among the local population. Those are the ones that are really a hard um, hire right now. I mean, they're in high demand. To attract workers from outside, South Dakota is even helping to pay relocation expenses, touting its low cost of living and no state income tax. For Abraham Kirk, pulling up stakes was the best move he could have made. This is a non-union shop. And I, I definitely could compare this to Chrysler, you know, a, a union job to where they treat you well, you get good benefits, you got a 401k, they take care of you. And that was Fox News senior correspondent John Roberts reporting there. South Dakota's governor is worried if jobs go unfilled, it could stall the economic recovery in his state. But even if the recruiting program is successful, it will leave more than 10,000 jobs wide open. Want to move? Yeah, I think people are, some people are packing already. <laughs> Coming up next on Fox 9 on your side, does it feel like your health care dollars are going quicker and quicker? Well, it's because they are. And we'll show you just how fast you're burning through them. Next two and a half men, Alan thinks Charlie's pad needs an extreme makeover. You reupholstered the couch and I liked it better the way it was. Stain? Every one of those stains had a story behind it. Ugh. Next two and a half men, weeknights at 10 on Fox 9. Idaho Patio can bring the outdoors inside with a sun-filled patio room. Or take the indoors outside with outdoor kitchens and covered patios. Our retractable awnings make it easy to shelter and shade almost any size area. Decks off the master or multi-level decks that wrap around, down, and across. Idaho Patio does it all. Every home, every budget, every wish granted. Visit the Idaho Patio Showroom and Design Center to get started now. It's Boise State Bronco football season, and Cable One is the place to go to catch the games. Order digital cable today and enjoy Boise State game coverage on CBS Sports Network, ESPN Network, Root Sports Network, and NBC Sports Network, all on Cable One. Plus, when you order Cable One digital cable, receive a Boise State Bronco remote control skin free. Don't miss this season of college football. Call 1-855-CABLE-1 today. That's 1-855-CABLE-1, and you can change channels with your very own Boise State Bronco remote control. Summer's not over yet. Since there's summer barbecue starting at just $9.99. Mouth-watering ribs, barbecue chicken, and new spicy southern shrimp. And still, our steak and in the salad bar is only $10.99. These offers don't last long, so hurry into Sizzler. Pennywise is, well, a family tradition. My mom bought my first Barbie doll at Pennywise, and my brother got his first baseball mitt there. We got our school supplies there, too. It's a family store, a pharmacy I trust, and it always has everything we need. As kids, we always made a mad dash for the toy department, and today, <laughs> my grandchildren do the same thing. It really is the family drugstore, and so much more. I love Pennywise. It's a good tradition. Howard Wallowitz. Cool. Redefined. 
It's a key issue, to say the least, on the mm -hmm. campaign trail. Health care, of course, and how to pay for it. Regardless of the politics of the matter, you're paying more for health care now than you were last year. It is our top story in Fox Fitness right now. Premiums for health insurance, that comes from employers, jumped 4% over the past year. That's according to an annual survey from the Kaiser Family Foundation and the Health Research and Educational Trust. And while that's less than half the surge from the previous year, it's still rising faster than wages and inflation. And many analysts say it's unlikely things get better in the coming years. The anticipation of all of the services that are going to have to be covered under Obamacare are going to make premiums rise exponentially over the next several years. The report also shows a stunning jump in cost in the past decade. Since 2002, premiums have jumped nearly 100 percent. They're surging three times faster than paychecks and inflation. The Colorado girl who came down with the bubonic plague is out of the hospital, we're happy to report. Seven-year-old Sierra Downing was taken to the ER after having a seizure and a fever that hit 107 degrees. Her bubonic plague diagnosis was Colorado's first in nearly a decade. Her parents believe she may have caught the illness after trying to bury a dead squirrel. The CDC reports there are typically 10 to 15 cases of the plague a year in the U.S. Glad she's okay. Yeah. Okay, so we dealt with health care. So the other big one on the campaign trail, sure. education. Yeah, it is always a big one in a presidential election. In this red, white, and blue report, Shannon Bream looks at what the candidates are saying about how your child learns. Together, I promise you, we can out-educate and out-compete any nation on earth. As president, I will be a champion of real education reform in America. Both presidential contenders say improving the sagging U.S. education system is a top priority. But polling shows Americans have much more faith in President Obama when it comes to getting the job done. When Fox asked, which do you trust to do a better job on education, the president held an 18-point margin over Governor Romney, 52 to 34 percent. But not all education advocates are convinced. When it comes to education, the president deserves a C. Though the president gets high marks for shining a spotlight on what many advocates are calling an education crisis in the U.S., there is skepticism about his proposals, which include recruiting 100,000 math and science teachers over the next several years, granting waivers from the No Child Left Behind law to more than 30 states, and allowing young people who are in the country illegally to earn citizenship by attending college. Romney, who was a strong advocate of school choice as governor of Massachusetts, says charter schools are key to giving parents an option and supports rigorous graduation testing he believes causes students and educators to improve. Both candidates say they'll fight to bring down the cost of higher education, but their starkest contrast comes on the topic of teachers' unions. The American Federation of Teachers endorsed the president's re-election bid months ago, while Romney has said they must take a backseat to children in the classroom. Some education advocates say they hope that's the position both candidates will adopt. Until the president of the United States, whoever that may be, stands up and says, no longer are you welcome to walk into our offices, to sit at our tables and talk to us about issues when children are not your primary concern. Until that happens, uh, we can't say that you're truly reform-minded. Current Education Secretary Arne Duncan has won praise as a compromiser. As former head of the Chicago school system, he worked to expand charter schools and launched a performance pay plan for teachers. In Washington, Shannon Bream, Fox News. And we're going to be back with much more Fox 9 on your side right after this. For Emmy Award-winning news coverage, watch Fox 9 on your side at 9. What's your dream deal? Great prices? Free HD TV? During the final days of Furniture Row's Dream Deal sales event, you get it all. Plus, no interest until 2015 and a chance to win a trip to Maui. Furniture Row's Dream Deal sale ends Wednesday, September 19th. A Tempur-Pedic Elite retailer. This is Truck Center. And Larry H. Miller Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram is loaded with Ram trucks. Check out the Ram 1500 best in class. It's the 4x4 that rides like luxury. For most valuable truck, get into a Ram 2500 heavy duty with Cummins turbo diesel engine. Plus, get the best price with special finance rates, and you keep the rebates. Larry H. Miller Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, the only Ram dealer conveniently located in Boise at Franklin and Cole. Online at DodgeBoise.com. Driven by you. It's no secret the Broncos floor the opposition. At Nampa Floors and Interiors, get floored with a soft landing. The softest carpet in the world from HGTV Home Flooring by Shaw. And right now at Nampa Floors and Interiors, 24 months no interest with payments and a free pad upgrade with your soft landing purchase. HGTV Home Flooring by Shaw. 
fashionable floors that stand up to life. Team up with the best at Napa Floors and Interiors. You know at Western Siding, we don't do sales. Our quality and prices are so good, we don't have to. But guess what? We're having a sale because Ameramax wants to make you an offer you can't refuse. Extended through November at Western Siding. Save 10% on energy efficient Ameramax replacement windows and get free low E glass to boot. Now that will save on your cooling costs. Yep, we're having a sale. But don't tell anyone. Wait, tell everyone. Call Western Siding 855-0100. Dream deals feel good. Get plenty of them during the final days of Denver Mattress's Dream Deal Sale. Sale prices, a free HDTV, no interest until 2015, and win a trip to Maui. Hurry in, Denver Mattress's Dream Deal Sale and free HDTV offer ends Wednesday, September 19th. A temper critically retailer. So have you seen the video of Las Vegas from this afternoon? I don't think I've seen this. This is kind of crazy. And Scott and I were talking earlier, and I said, can you show this to people and explain what happened here? Because to me, this seems almost unbelievable. Yeah, you know, we're talking about a desert area that doesn't get much rain. But boy, when it rains, you can get flooding. And that can certainly happen here. I'll show you the latest live picture out of Vegas here. Uh, radar shows that it is dry now. So there, flash flooding has come to an end. The warnings have ended. Every time you see one of these little shapes right here, this is a flash flood warning here. Here's a severe thunderstorm warning well down to the south. This is the southern part of Nevada right here, heading towards Flagstaff. This massive rain, it's drying out now, but they had flash flood warnings because of this. Take a look at these pictures. All the heavy rain they had this afternoon, this is what happens. Now, I, it was tough to tell. That might have been a parking lot, but this certainly is not. You see these people driving through water. Most drowning deaths occur in an automobile, so you really shouldn't be doing this when you're in a situation. Look how dry it is to the north. They could have just turned right there, but doing this, chances are the car's going to stall. Uh, basically, helicopter had to come in and pluck several people from cars in the streets of right around Vegas. Pretty much all of um, Clark County was under this flash flood warning. And you can see here even the sewers just overflowing here with water coming in. So this is not the way you're supposed to handle flash flooding. So again, stay at the dry roads and not go across the wet roads. It happens here in the Treasure Valley. It's happened in the past. It hasn't happened in a while. But when you get torrential rains, 1.75 inches of rain fell. They normally get four and a half inches in a year. So again, they had a tremendous amount of rain. Let's take a quick look at the flash flooding facts here. Basically, all that water rushes into one spot. So you don't need to get uh, one inch of water can produce a tremendous amount of uh, flooding on the roadways. And that's the case right there. So remember, when there's a watch, you got to get ready. When there's a warning, that means you have to seek safety. It only takes 18 inches of water to two feet to take a car and send it off the roadway. So guys, we see it time and time again. Not a good idea to be driving through water. You, you yeah. shouldn't be more than an inch deep you should be turning off that road well there were no dry roads <laughs> there were, there were a couple, the garage but certainly yeah you don't want to be going out in that <laughs> yeah, type of weather exactly. yeah. thanks scott coming up next